polling in the presidential election is also underway at the Parliament House and the state legislative assemblies. And around 4,800 MPs and MLAs are casting their vote. And the voting will go on till 5 p.m. today to elect the 15th President of India. The counting of votes will take place on July 21st, while the next president of the country will take oath on July 25th. Now, who's the competition between its NDA's presidential candidate, Draupadi Murmu, versus opposition's joint uh, candidate, Yashwan Sinha? These are the two candidates in the race for the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, Sanket joins us for more uh, on this. And Sanket, uh, while it is a competition between Draupadi Murmu and Yashwan Sinha, but uh, it's safe to say that the next president is very likely to be Draupadi Murmu, as close to 62% of votes are uh, stacked up in her favor. Exactly. Uh, if you go by pure numbers, uh, to become the president, you need 50% of the electoral college. And Draupadi Murmu has, uh, at least if you go by a rough calculation, more than 60%. So given the simple calculation, she is going to be uh, the next president. But really, as far as the NDA is concerned, uh, what they are hoping for is that, uh, you know, the answer will not be uh, whether she will be the next president, but uh, how convincingly will she win this presidential election? See, the thing is, we have to understand that as far as the president election is concerned, uh, it is not along party lines. So, if the Congress has decided to vote for Yashwan Sinha or the BJP has decided to go for uh, Draupadi Murmu, each and every MLA and MP is free to cast his or her vote to whichever person he or she wants to. Party whip is not in force as far as the presidential election is concerned. To that effect, many people in the opposition are feeling that this whole idea of index of opposition unity where opposition parties are going to get together uh, took a big beating when Draupadi Murmu's candidature was announced. Let's approach this uh, by our basic two means. Number one, point number one, just numbers. So as far as the electoral college is concerned, for the benefit of our viewers, electoral college is a percentage that is, it's a number or a, or a value which is attached to each and every MP or an MLA's vote. So there are 4,800 MPs and MLA's combined. And each MP has a certain value depending, which is a very, very complex calculation of uh, the constituency, the number of people it represents, uh, and, and that value is calculated for each and every MP. Similarly, a value is calculated for each and every MLA depending from which state they come. Now, if you calculate these numbers and if we assume that all BJP leaders are going to vote for Draupadi Murmu, the BJP has 42% of the electoral college. The NDA, National Democratic Alliance, started with 49% of the electoral college, which means that they just needed one more percent to cross that 50% mark. And once the candidature was announced, you had more and more and more parties from the opposition. For instance, the BJD, YSR Congress, the JMM, the Shiv Sena, and that list just goes on and on. They all pledged support for Draupadi Murmu's candidature. Which means by a rough calculation, she has already crossed 60-62%. The BJP's calculation now, and that brings me to point number two, is to widen this gap further. And what gap do they want widened? How many more people from the opposition camp also vote for Draupadi Murmu to take this electoral college higher? Uh, BJP's internal calculation is that she may very well uh, end up becoming president with 75% of the electoral college. Now, how does that happen? That comes to the second part of our comment. That only happens when opposition is not united. That many people from the opposition will also vote. Now, they will not vote along party lines. The BJP's calculation is that many tribal MLAs, MPs from the Congress or other regional parties will, in the absence of a whip, choose to vote for Draupadi Murmu and not Mr. Yeshwan Sinha. Mr. Sinha looks at this as a prestige battle. He says that this is a fight to save the identity of the country. But... With the candidature of Ms. Murmu, it is very clear that at a time when the BJP and the NDA wants to give the country the first woman tribal president, a lot of MPs and MLAs are convinced with this idea 
and are aligning themselves with Ms. Murmu's candidature. So that is why you have uh, a BJP which started at 49%, now already looking at a 60-65%, hoping to cross 75%. And, and if this calculation goes right, it is, uh, it is expected that uh, Mr. Yashwan Sinha uh, may not be able to uh, perhaps cross 30 or 35% of the electoral college. So he will finish second. But you know, uh, a quick bit of history, Priyanshi. In the past also, we have seen that uh, presidential elections uh, and, and the candidate that is presented from the opposition do fight uh, for the sake of a contest. And it then becomes a, a, a sort of a, a symbolic fight. Uh, we saw this in the case of Mr. Bhairo Singh Shekhawat also, when he was supported by the BJP, the BJP's nominee. And we have seen in the past that many members of the opposition do not go with the opposition and choose to vote for the ruling combined. It happened as far as the Shiv Sena is concerned in 2007 uh, when they went with the, the candidature of Pratibha Patil. Again, the Shiv Sena uh, supported Pranam Mukherjee in 2012, defying their alliance with the BJP and supporting the BJP candidate. So, uh, if you want to read a lot into what is happening, perhaps at a regional level, say a Shiv Sena, uh, Mr. Uddhav Thakre trying to contain the damage that has been caused, uh, making sure that not more MPs end up defecting just like the MLAs did. So, th these, this is a regional dimension at play as far as the presidential elections are concerned. But largely, uh, what happens in the presidential elections is that this, since this is an election to a constitutional post, uh, whatever decisions are taken by individual MPs and MLAs usually does not reflect on their choices otherwise in normal elections. That is right. an election to a Vidhan Sabha or an election to the Lok Sabha.